Hey guys, this is Daniel and welcome back to another quick video. Today I want to show you something a little bit different from usual. So there is a tool that I found that is really useful for analyzing animation and because I only found it because of a coincidence, I thought I would share it uh, so that maybe if you were interested in something like that, you can learn more about it. Basically, we're talking about automated uh, cut detection that will help you to split up longer sections of an animation into small clips, which you can analyze later on. Uh, it all starts in this software here. It's called DaVinci Resolve. It's from Blackmagic Design, I think. And it's a really good software. I mean, I can really recommend it as it is also free to use if you're not using the pro version of it. Um, but let's get started with what I actually want to show you. Basically, in this user interface, you start you have here four tabs, which are basically your workflow. First of all, you choose what kind of media you want to use, and then you edit it, you can do color correction, and at the end you render it and basically deliver it to your final file. Uh, in this first area, you have your storage with all the files that you have on your disk, which you can drag and drop into your media pool which will then be available in the edit panel and so on. And you have also your preview and things related to audio, but you can figure those things out for yourself. Uh, I will show you how to, how to cut one clip into very small pieces whenever there is a cut. So if you look at this video quickly, this is an animation that I made a couple of years ago, maybe two or three years ago, and you have lots of things going on here. And if you are interested in the animation and the frames, you could either you know play the whole movie and go through it frame by frame, but that's kind of, well, you'd always have to find the same spot if you want to work on it again. It's not very easy, user-friendly. So what you do instead is you can do a right click onto your clip in this um, media storage my videos area and then you go to scene cut detection which will open up this window and if you press on the scene detect it will quickly run through your video and figure out where there might be uh, a cut and you see there are now many lines, some of which are very high and some of which are really low. This is basically how confident the software is that there is now a new scene. For example, here you have many little ones and there's a good reason for that because here is a fade from black to the first scene, I think. So obviously you don't want to have a cut every single frame. So you can now drag this line up and down until you um, until you're sure that it matches. And you can then go through and check if everything is correct. If it is not, you can press delete. If you think you need to add a cut somewhere, just press add. But it works really reliably and uh, good as far as I know. So with that done, you just press add cuts to media pool. Uh, you can change your frame rate settings for your composition too. And there you have it. You just close the window and now you have all those clips in your media pool. And you see it's just a single shot and all the cuts are gone. To export all of these, what you do is you select all of them, do a right click on it and create a new timeline using selected clips. Create that timeline and now you'll continue to the edit panel where you can see that the timeline contains all your clips in the right order and it's basically the same thing as it was at the beginning just that you now have the information for the cuts you can now continue to the deliver deliver page and what you do here is well first of all you just select your your export format, you can do it custom or you can just select a, um, some sort of preset. But what's actually important is that you press individual clips. This will 
uh, actually export every single section as one file. You can then select your export uh, location. I'll quickly go ahead and select my uh, desktop. Let's call this test. And once you have that, just add to render key and start rendering. And this will take a moment. All right, so the rendering is now done. And if you go to your destination folder, you see that you have now lots of files. And if you take a look at one of those, yeah, it's basically just that one shot. And what you can do from here on is you open it in your favorite um, well, video player and you can just go through it frame by frame and start analyzing it. For example, here you can see that the background is moving all 24 frames a second, while the animation itself is more or less on only seconds or yeah, I think that's what you call it, like every second frame. Uh, but it's not it's not completely synchronized. For example, there are some frames like here where only the hand is moving and and the other hand well is kind in a little a slightly different timing. And these are the things that you can learn how to do it and what what effect it will have on the animation. So it's definitely interesting to. Um, split an animation up into lots of parts and to analyze it. Anyways, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, maybe it was something you were searching for and you couldn't find. And at least that's what it was for me. I was really happy to find out about that feature, which is why I made a video about it. As for my character project, uh, I mean, it's basically the same thing every week. I'm working on it, but it will st still take lots of time, so I didn't want to uh, bore you by posting a video about the same thing over and over. So that's all there is. Uh, you'll definitely get an update as soon as there is more interesting stuff to see. But until then, uh, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching as always and I'll see you next time.